Good morning, Cruzy. Good morning, little buddy. Hi. <laughs> You're not a morning person. Ninety five per cent. Whoa, I've never woken up in the morning and see my batteries drop only that much. And I charged my cell phone and my camera all last night. My fridge ran and that's all it dropped overnight. Plus I had a fan running all night long. That is impressive. Normally it would have gone down about 25% overnight. I think my fridge was a major factor in why this thing was just chewing through juice. Koozie's like, seriously, Dad? You're getting up, you're just making videos in bed? <laughs> Good morning, buddy. Good morning, Koozie. Good morning. He's like, I just want to go back to bed, Dad. And you're in here talking and talking and talking and talking. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. I got myself a new jacket. But we have a store out here called Winners. And yeah, I went in there the other day and Winners is like a, uh, if, if you're from the US, Winners is like a discount store. I guess they do overstock item stuff. It's got a mix of just brand names and other miscellaneous things. And yeah, you can go get things in there super cheap. So I was in there. And, found myself this big puffy red jacket and I couldn't resist. <laughs> I've lost a little bit of weight. I've gained a bit of weight back, but I've lost a bit of weight since last winter, so my other jacket is fitting a little bit, you know, loosey loosey. <sighs> Are you gonna tell him or am I gonna tell him? Bro, somebody has to tell him. <laughs> You're such not a morning person, are you, buddy? Jackery wanted me to let you guys know that they're having a fall prime sale on October 11th and October 12th, up to 30% off everything on the store, including some of the brand new batteries you guys have watched me review on my channel just recently, like the Jackery 2000 Pro and my new favorite, the 1000 Pro. Yeah, I said it, my new favorite. This old, this look, look at this thing. <laughs> it's been in my van for four years and this bad boy still works. <laughs> Come on, it's 98% charge. I love this thing, but this is not my favorite anymore. My new favorite one is right here. The brand new Jackery 1000 Pro. And I drained it the other day when we were using it to run my fridge while we were doing the elect electrical upgrade. It's my new favorite, man, because this thing charges super quick. I love it. All right, fall sale, let's see what they got. Oh, some of these, some of these sales end today. That one ends today. That one ends today. Oh, I should have told you guys about this sooner. Um, you guys better click on those links. And uh, oh, there's more, more exclusive offers available. Be sale begins in 20 hours from right now, October 11th and 12th. Links are down below. You guys get one of these. Oh, let's take a look and see what this looks like from the SOK battery side. So the SOK batteries we added to my van have their own Bluetooth monitoring system inside each individual battery. Look at that, same thing. 95% and my batteries are at 17 degrees Celsius right now. So we're gonna need to turn the inverter on this morning because we've got some video editing to do. But as long as this switch is turned on, my compartment down here, it's got my vacuum in it, charges every time I leave that switch on when my inverter's on. Every day, I'm gonna try and use this thing and try to clean up all the dog hair that's on the floor, 
plus what the dog leaves on the bed. I'm hoping this thing keeps Cruzy's hair, you know, a little bit more at bay. I figured with all of these new upgrades, I would try to simplify everything in my van and make things a little better. Because when you do power upgrades like that, you add so much more convenience to the van life that you're living. But as the years move forward, you get to turn these things into like the ultimate adult man cave. At the beginning of my van life, I felt like I was building a fort. Well, I kind of still feel like I'm building a fort, but that's what van life was like. It was like, I finally, as a grown adult child, get to live in a vehicle. Come on, every kid's probably dream if you're a car kid, like I was a total car kid. And that's what it felt like. I get to just make my own bedroom inside of a van and it felt really, really cool. And now over the years, I've just turned it into an adult's bedroom and luxurious things like internet. <laughs> Thank you, Starlink. Power switches and you know, my vacuum all tucked away nice and neat. And I got a heat ducting system inside of my van. People have ducting for heat inside of their homes. No, I have heat ducting in my van. I have heat ducting. <laughs> That's insane. Okay guys, enough of me just being excited about uh, about all this new project upgrades. We need to make some of that good morning coffee in that good morning French press that you guys suggested. Thank you, it is amazing. And I'm pretty sure every morning coffee will probably get made in this. Um, you were right, you were 100% right. Now I have a regular home wall plug, just like that. The good thing about this plug is the plug on here, it fits snug. The one that's on the top of my inverter, I used to have to pull it sideways just a little bit for this one. It just didn't like the, the two pronger. This fits nicely in there, Fit feels good. And this guy, just the sweetest little puppy. He grizzy, sleepy little boy. <laughs> He's so adorable. So as right now we're pulling 40 watts. Let's shut off the lights. It says we're pulling 25 watts because we shut the back lights off. Let's shut off the front ones here. 16 watts. Now let's shut off the inverter. The inverter is off. And there's one last set of lights. My van never did that when I used to have the old Iceco fridge. I never ever used to be able to shut my entire home off and it pull nothing. I think there was something wrong with that other ice cold fridge I had. That thing, no kidding, pulled 50 watts all day, never stopped. That compressor on that thing ran constantly. You guys heard me complain about my power inside of my van a lot on the tail end of this summer. And it never registered to me that the compressor of that other fridge was on constantly. Sure, it was hot outside, it was summertime, and it's going to run more than normal. But when we plug this fridge in, I, I was talking to the crew of Ray Outfit, and I'm like, hey man, does your fridge run like this all the time? Like They, they have a different branded fridge in, in their camper van. I mean, does it run all the time in the summer? He's like, no. I mean, even when it's super hot and humid, he's like, no, it may kick on more often than normal, but to stay on 24 hours a day all the time, there's never did. And then, I, you know, it gets you thinking, you know, did mine do that? Was it on? Did it ever shut off? And I, I honestly don't remember, but I do know every time I touched my battery monitor app, that thing was pulling 50, 52 watts on a constant. So it very well may have been that there was something majorly issued with that fridge. So I am stoked to see the new Ice Co fridge pull nothing, hey? Run like normal, which is a beautiful thing. Now that this mattress has been in my van for a little bit, it sinks down enough that I can fully sit upright. In the video the other day, we chopped another 
another inch or so off of here and it actually worked out pretty good i can edit here okay i just can't wear my headphones so what i usually do is i wear my headphones backwards a bit so they're back here so i can still sit upright instead of having them up, up above like i'm used to i just wear them back a little bit and it works out okay when i'm leaning forward it does the job but uh yeah i like my new mattress by the way okay we gotta go put the starlink up that's it one cable goes under there's a little cap here to keep it waterproof. That plugs in, slide this over top to keep it waterproof. Boom. Now to turn the Starlink on, hit the first switch. Now we're in, that's it. We could probably unplug this now because my video edit's done. My laptop's at 80%, so that should be okay for uploading that. My compressor just turned on, and what are we at? 86% state of charge. At this point, after a multi-hour edit, running my fridge and my Starlink, my other one, I would have crushed this way down here. But yeah, it's still pulling 125 watts, so all my high draw stuff has been running. Laptop starlink and fridge and the heater are the four main items in my van that pull power that is mighty impressive i'm super excited to see how many watts my van brings back via my alternator because we upgraded that part of my van system as well too before my van used to pull back like a maximum of like 350 watts maybe 400 420 i think is the biggest peak i've ever seen once in a while but it never really dragged back that much because my old charge controller unit i had back here it had a cap so whatever my alternator was bringing in if i had solar coming in at the same time it would cap it all out at one i think it was 50 amps or something where now those units are fully separated so each of them can then bring in their chunk so I might be wrong, but I think my solar allows in 30 and my alternator charge allows in 60 amps. So super excited to go for a drive today when we go to have a shower to see how much or how fast this thing charges. Before to go from 75% state of charge to 100 while I drove would take like all day of driving. Where now I'm hoping if it's bringing back a ton, I could probably top that up and half an hour maybe we'll see <laughs> crazy space like what she's like what do you want to make me run on the treadmill what <laughs> all right thanks for the visit oh sunshine hey well <laughs> we just got one little break right there and that's it my winter blanket my hoodie before we shut down everything here we need to go into the app and shut down the starlink so you go to stow and then it just goes flat whoa that doesn't look very friendly right here you push the stow button and it goes to bed ready that's it night night that's it unscrew this pop the cable out <laughs> oh, am I ever stoked that Ray Outfitted did this for me? I just screw the cap back on there if I can just get her centered. Cable out. Starlink out. So now that my Starlink is on a shorter cable, I might take a look and see if I can find a high cruisy, find a way to secure the Starlink to the back of that seat. Because it's out of the way. I think if I leave the seat pushed forward enough, we wouldn't be able to see like the stem sticking out of it. To have it in here and not have to go to the back drawer would be epic. I just gotta slide it out of a slide it out of its little pocket sleeve, pop it up when I'm done back there. No need to go in the back door at all. Me, okay. Cruz is like, I like it when you go to the back of the van, Dad, because that's where you get all my food from. You hungry? You want some breakfast? You want some breakfast? Woo! -wee! 
Now that is gonna charge my system super fast. That's about 200 watts or 250 watts more than I normally used to get. That is wicked. So we added two 30 amp Victron DC to DC charge units, giving me 60 amps back from the front. Hello, thank you. sign they do <laughs> crazy's having some food I'm gonna go throw the Starlink up me and Emmy found ourselves a little spot out here just up a dirt road it's raining outside today so I really don't feel like doing a whole lot so we're gonna curl up and watch some movies and it's kind of right on point with everything I've been filming today anyway talking about electrical and all that blah 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 kind of stuff i know in my starling videos i've had a lot of people talk to me about having it mounted to the roof of my van on how it would be better to keep it on the base so i can stick it 75 feet over there the way i look at those things is why don't i just park my van 75 feet over there or park my van in a place where i'm gonna get optimal starlink you know i don't think the need to run a huge cable away from your vehicle is a thing unless you're one to sit still and you're gonna camp out somewhere for a long duration of time and you're camped in a really poor location. That's a little different. So for us here where we are, we have tons of areas that we could go camping all around here. So the reason why I chose this spot is because where Emmy is, there's blockage of trees right there. I don't got nothing on the other side of my van here. So here is a pretty good spot. Crazy, we're having movie time, bro. <laughs> movie time, buddy. He's like, no, man, it's playtime. It's playtime. Yay! What is that, bro? We got huge sound in the van, buddy. Speakers are full bumping. Yay! <laughs> hey, Cruzy, we're trying to watch a movie here, bro. He's like, no, Dad, it's playtime, Dad. Look at him. He's like, what's with the sound? What is that, bro? Cruzy's really unsure about this volume. Good dog. Where does he find the energy? <laughs> His recommend is still 10 weeks old. Let's go. Let go to that one. What are we pulling? So we have my Starlink running and both my speakers. 53 watts. Not bad. 49. Yeah. In this way, I'll get you a treat. Hold on. Get my turn. Let me come in. Can I come sit? The uh, garlic roasted, delicious. Some honey sriracha. So the music I'm listening to right now is actually from the same company that I get all my music for on my YouTube channel because when I'm making videos like this, so what? I can put music in my, ah, it's a confusing subject. Mm, that's nice. Hold on tight, there's a storm Standing in the eye Got this?
Normally for music, I wouldn't be listening to what I am now because I make YouTube videos, so I can't play regular music because I get flagged for copyright infringement. This is music I get from my music suppliers for YouTube. So this is actually um, the company Epidemic Sound and a pile of their artists, which I'm allowed to put on my channel because I'm a member of Epidemic Sound. So I do what you gotta do when you're making videos, baby. There's some good stuff on here though. Just got my drone batteries charged. The controller's charging right now. Just shut the heater off. Probably cracked this window. It's getting a little warm in here. As you guys can clearly tell, I am overly stoked with all these crazy new upgrades I did to my van. And anytime I make an upgrade, I just play with it all the time. It's just so fun to have these electrical conveniences inside of my rolling van home. You know, today you've watched me flick on the Starlink, flick on the speakers, and oh, watch a movie with them bumping from the speakers. It felt like I was in a movie theater or at a home with a surround sound. Ah, it was like such a luxury to be out here on a dirt road somewhere <laughs> watching Netflix with my Starlink on the roof and my system just filling the whole van full of sound while we watched a movie on Disney Plus tonight. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I know, I get really excited about these little things, but that's a fun part I find about doing little upgrades to my van. You know, doing things after five years of being in it is still so freaking cool for me. And doing stuff like this just lights up my life because now my every days become more and more convenient because of a couple of light switches and my Starlink on the roof and and a stack of more power. So I wanna thank the crew at Ray Outfitted for adding these luxuries to my life. You guys knocked this whole project out of the park with trimming down my Starlink and permanently mounting it in my van, amazing. All this brand new electrical system that you guys designed out for me on the solar charging part and the DC to DC charging part because that was all their idea to do the dual DC to DC units to bring back in more power for my alternator and to change out my Renogy one for a Victron, Victron charge controller so I could see everything in the Victron battery monitor system. That was their thing. And guys, you guys knocked this whole project out. And ducting everything in the back, oh, amazing. And I wanna thank SOK Batteries for having all this power back here. These SOKs are awesome so far. I am super, super stoked on it. It feels like for once, I got a real set of batteries in here. Anyway, I'm so excited about this. I could talk to you guys about this all night long, but I have to go to bed. And uh, tonight I'm gonna remember to shut my Starlink off <laughs> because, uh, well, I got lots of power now. Do I really have to? Anyway, I'm watching uh, Maloof Racing. I just got into watching this on Netflix. But uh, I'm gonna curl up in bed now, you guys. So I will, I will uh, see you guys on the next video. <laughs> see you later. Oh. oh yeah, baby, let's go.